the Empire Zone. I'm looking around for Stormtroopers thinking something's going to go wrong here. It is a sea of porta potties and trailers as far as the eye can see. Do we have any houses yet? Oh, I can see somebody. Oh! <gasps> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. Here we are in the city of... What is the name? Well, we are going to find out by the end of the episode. Excellent name suggestions have come in from you lovely people, and we've had a vote as well. So stay tuned for that. Today, we're focusing on... What, that mountain? Just looks epic in the background, doesn't it? Wow. <laughs> Look, we're going to be building over there soon. Oh, exciting. Today, we're going to be focusing on industry. And as we're just coming along here, what perfect timing is this? I couldn't plan it better. This area right to the left-hand side of that road behind the highway here is all farmland. And we're going to be building across here our first farming industry and making as much money as we can to feed and grow our beautiful city. Oh, man. Look at the details on this map is just amazing if you want this map and all the mods and stuff i'm using all listed below steam collection you know the drill right let us stop following this truck and dive over here and see what's going on just before we dive into the farm you lovely people had some great suggestions on a couple of things that we just need to fix so first of all we had the problem with the water and i turned on the option in the 81 tiles mod um, that we still have to make the water, which we're doing, but it doesn't get transmitted over the pipes. As you can see, there's no pipes over these houses, but they're getting water. Because there was a, an imbalance between what I was making and what was appearing in this list. Well, that is the age-old problem, in inverted commas, of on the map, there is already some things making the water. We've got a water... Oh, that's a water outlet. That's a water pump. So until we're connected up to that, uh, anything outside of what we make will still show on the water and the power graphs but of course they're not available to us so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna jump into the 81 tiles option up here i'm gonna turn this off there we go back to the game uh, i'm gonna place my water pipes under the road here where we need them so everybody is covered And then when we unpause, we're going to see what's going to happen to our water availability and sewage treatment amounts. Watch the graph up on the left. Yeah, people are saying not enough water. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's probably because these people don't have a pipe. Um, let us just run a pipe up that road there. Uh, yeah, not enough water, definitely. So the graph shows we've got enough because it's taken into account that over there, but we're not attached to it. So we need to add more water. Now that was onto the second little issue. Everybody's worried about our industry over here being right close next to our water tower. Well, let's check the pollution tab. Oh, it's so close. You can see the, the line here, the last line just outside of that um ground pollution five percent well that's this over here drinking water pollution zero percent so we're okay on that um, but what we need to do is add in another one of these and i'm thinking what is going to be a nice spot for that i mean we've sort of been building up this area over here so what i'm actually going to do is it's going to go level with that road there in this little corner that we've got so what i'm going to have to do is sort of eyeball it as we can't use the graph over here i'm going to put that in speed the game up and see whether both of those gives us enough everybody's happy excellent and sewage treatment nobody's complaining and that that just looks really cool i think in there as well excellent okay that was ah oh, there we go look sewage and they are complaining about water that's fine i can probably bump up my budget on this i'm just going to whack that on 100 percent and i'm sure that will take care of it happy happy and happy excellent right the next issue that you'd mentioned so the second suggestion was the naming of our pedestrian district through here which is more square at the moment lots of people said why don't we name that after our first resident who was faith morgan so this is going to be morgan square excellent idea thank you Another slight change that I wanted to make myself was this big road going through here. So we've got our collector down the side, collector through the middle, collector over here. This collector through the middle just seems a little bit unnecessary all the way through here. So what I'm thinking of doing is changing this one and this one for... Let's use our picker mod to grab that road. So we're using the blue stone road, which I'm glad everybody liked. We're going to pick this one here, the large blue stone pedestrian road 
street with trees. And we are going to upgrade this all the way along here. Hopefully not messing up anything we've done before. No, nope. I'm going to leave this road through the middle here. And then we're going to do that one all the way down to the end. There we go. Pedestrianise, which is nice. So we've still got this cut through off of our couplets that are coming up and down these sides. But then all of this is even more walking around our city, which I think it is a great addition uh, we then need to change these trees for this one here there we go i like that so we get the same look with the road the avenue going all the way up there but yeah even more walkability which is just brilliant so now we can expand out here to our farming area and i'm hoping to sort of chip away and remove this sort of industry that we've got over here and use some of the more specialized ones so first thing we're going to have to do is buy this square yep yeah, we can afford that no problem at all and let's take a look at our resources that we've got in here oh excellent it's actually bigger than i thought it goes all the way up there I'm not going to buy that square. I'm going to stick with what we've got here. But what we're going to do is I'm going to get this rural road. We're going to turn our resources on. And I'm just going to outline this uh, a little bit. And yeah, see how this looks. There we go. So we now know that everything inside this road here is all farming and i've just put this extra road along the back there because we are going to come out here eventually um why don't we paint this out first uh, get our district over the top okay the game's decided to call it the empire zone i'm looking around for stormtroopers thinking something's going to go wrong here we'll find out how that works out but uh, just before we do that we'll have an auto save a quick sip of tea and if you would like to support the channel and get your hands on some Biffa Plays merchandise, then head over to BifferPlaysMerch.com and you can be drinking your cup of tea out of your very own Hugo There mug. Right, let's turn this into a farming zone. I don't think we need this little bit of road that sticks out there anymore. I'm wondering whether we could add the farm right onto the end here. I think that would look quite nice. Uh, let's grab our farming building. Here we go, farm main building. Yeah, we pop it there. There we go. And what's it? Empire Farmland. <laughs> Any ideas for the name? That we, I want to keep the Empire thing going. If we can chuck some sort of tea-related thing in there as well, that would be great. But yeah, let me know. <laughs> let me know what you think. But I think that looks nice, doesn't it? We'll do a little bit of work on this, as we're doing with all of our detailing. But yeah, I think that fits in there okay. So now we want to get a load of farms in here, and I'm thinking we could sort of maybe try and fill up this area down here so if we grab this road that we've got oh there we go we can fit five of those across there which is great obviously got to remember the water pipes now um and i'm thinking with these we're gonna go what have we got corn cotton potatoes wheat or greenhouse um let us go for what do you reckon? I'm thinking of the view, what it looks like. Let's go for cotton. Why not? There we go. We're going to have the greenhouse at either end, which I think is going to look pretty good. We're also going to add our water pipes in for these lovely people. There we go. Hopefully that is enough water. It should be fine. Um, and then also, so this all works through here. We're also going to add in, we've got a small grain silo. I'm just wondering whether we could squeeze that in the middle here. Would be good if we could. Let's put Anarchy on. Uh, let's get the Move It mod. I'm going to just move that there. And then I'm also going to shift all of those along. Just so we can have a bit of space for that in between there. I also feel like these need to be up against the side a bit better yeah so let's grab those excellent electricity now for right out in the sticks here i reckon that we could pop in one of these a nice wind turbine and yeah look at that now i don't want it right on the top of the hill but this little spot here i think that would work out great unfortunately we don't have all of our disaster services unlocked because i would use this earthquake sensor to jump the power down here for now we will just put in what have we got here suburban power line yeah let's just use the suburban power line i think that'll be okay and we can literally just run that in that'll do yeah it doesn't stand out too much give some power there this should have power already yeah that's good um the only thing i'm sort of worrying about is the uh trucks getting in and out of here so what i'm thinking of doing 
is finding an asymmetrical road that can help us out there. I think the smallest one we're going to have isn't even unlocked yet. Oh, is it one of these? Asymmetrical three-lane road. We need 4,000 people. Darn it. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what then, is we'll pop this back in and then we'll switch it all out once that uh, becomes unlocked for us. So they've got two ways in and out. They've got ways of crossing over. They've got places to drop off the stuff. Uh, this at the moment is going to be on balanced and all of our crops do we have a way to sell these crops yet no we don't hmm okay well that's fine i'm gonna add one more of these uh, over to here as well let's just turn this is the toggle it mod down here by the way each of these gives me a little option so that one there turns on and off the automatic info view which is where it turns the screen white if i turn that off there we go so now i can see to place this oh, i wanted that in that little gap there no, I don't. I want it over there. Let's pop it there. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, this next one here, I've got notification icons, so I can turn those on and off if any are popping up. Uh, the C is road names. Oh, that's why I can't see the road names. There we go. They should all be showing up now. Yeah, there we go. I was wondering what was going on there. D is district names. Uh, e is border lines. And F, you've seen me use, is the contour lines. You can turn those on and off. And in the options, you can change those to do uh, all sorts of things. So automatic info views there's a whole list of things you can have them do and you can set the letter yeah really cool little mod i like that so i'd also like some fruit trees running along the highway here if i turn anarchy off how far along can i go so if we just fill this up with fruit trees all along here on this straight piece of road yeah that'll be good uh, what ones could we go for so we've got apples oranges or pears uh, let's go for let's go for the oranges. I hope they stand out really nice, don't they? Yeah, there we go. That's good. I like that. Um, they just produce basically crops, which are going to get stored in here as well. But then what we can do is we want to make use of those crops. So we could put in some small animal pastures. Now these don't have to be uh, over the top of our fertilized land, so they can go anywhere. So let's just have a quick look. We've got this little spot over here which would actually possibly work quite well as somewhere to put our pastures. Maybe let's just do a little bit of jiggery pokery on here to fit this in. There we go. We're going to have two pastures in there. Not enough raw materials. I thought the crops would be bought in. They didn't actually have to be placed on fertile land. Yeah, that's right. So we're just going to wait for that to be bought over here. So that'll get there. We can have cows, highland cows, pigs and sheep. Why don't we go for Highland Cows for now, and we'll see how that looks. I'm also going to line these up because for some reason, they haven't quite gone in correctly. There we go. And then we can pop some lovely water pipes under here as well. There we go. Excellent. So once these kick in, that should be good. I'm wondering what is going on. Ah, what have we got going on over here? What are you doing? importing to the small grain silo yeah so once this gets to the point of being balanced then they'll start coming over here so yeah that's good that's fine we'll let this thing run and very soon it will kick in and then we will start making money so at the minute we're importing so we're not producing a huge amount on our own uh, to get to the next level we've got to do 500 resources while well, we're getting there workers for the next level we've got to do 75 or well, we've got space for 106 so once enough people uh, work it will be okay and then what we're going to do is try and balance it so we're shipping out tons of goods um and making more money which will be which will be good we do need a couple of warehouses so we're going to grab one of the small cheaper ones pop that in there so this is going to be making for us the animal products uh, we're going to set that to empty for now and put animal products into there so as they make them they'll ship into there and then they'll ship out of the city and that will make some good money for us and here we go the first tractor is coming in around this very tight hairpin bend bringing the goods we need over here which is going to produce for us some highland cows yeah there we go we've got our first highland cows they look very wrinkly highland cows don't they <laughs> excellent so that is going to start producing here we go this one's going to pop in as well very good very good so now we're going to start producing the animal products which will get shipped out which will be making us all the money oh look it's all kicking in now excellent 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 
So what I'd like to do is encourage more people to work over here than over here. So, oh, jumpy game. So I'm going to start stripping away the industry that we've got over here a little bit at a time. So we're going to take that out. Uh, you are right across the road, sir. You are going. And I'm just going to sort of de-zone maybe some of these along the front here to keep the pollution away from our water, which will be good. And then what we can do, which will sort of help this area over here as well, is we can also pop a district, a normal district over the top, maybe just either side of this road here, just a little thing like that. And I'm thinking maybe another one just either side of this little road here. And then what I'm going to do is going to put our specializations on there. Um, so this is, yep, this is the one we want. So we've got our farming industry specialization. So what that does is changes this district and any normal industry buildings that grow in here once we've zoned them will actually be farming buildings instead. So what we can do now is we jump in here and we are going to farm. Uh, we're going to farm. Well, we are going to farm. What I meant was is we're going to zone... Uh, some of these over here. I'm going to sort of deliberately not line them up. There we go. So the next time we get some industrial need, demand, uh, they will grow in those two spots. I'm going to have a look at those. How are things going here? Animal products. Very slow on the uptake there, my friends. You need to really get uh, going with that, but... Yeah, we'll come back to that. But we seriously need even more people in our city. So I'm just wondering whether we could expand what we've got out to fill up this area here. Um, and also, we need to make some more money because I would like to add buses into the mix. We've got our bus depot, which is going to take 30,000. But then we want to be able to ship people out over here to work in, in our farming and our small industry area. So I'm just wondering whether this little spot here, um, I've had a lot of people actually mention about turning this around the other way. So I'm going to do that while I think of it. There we go. Excellent. Not that it makes a huge amount of difference. Not that busy. So it's okay. Do I want to put my bus depot there? That's going to be very close to this nice, quiet pedestrian area. So maybe... We'll just take one of these little spots over here and have it as our bus depot instead. Excellent. So we've got our bus ready. What's also worth looking at, this is interesting. So if we come onto here, this says not enough workers. And we just read the little pop-up there. The building become abandoned. Nothing is done. Zone more residential area to attract workers. So it just needs workers. Um, if we have a look in here, this one, we have unemployment at 9%. So obviously we have enough workers, but it's just getting them over here. Now they can walk here at the moment. They can drive here. They've all got cars the same. They can walk and drive over there, but the distance, that is a problem. So if we add a bus route in, and I am thinking about nothing too complicated, um, maybe, do I want it stopping on the couplet? I really don't. And I am now wondering whether we need a larger road along the back here so I can sort of swing this around. Yeah, I'm going to try and keep the bus line on the outside of what we're doing. So we're going to start here. We're going to come down here. And we're sort of going to go every other block. Then we're going to swing this one around the back and then go every other block. Now it's going to turn up here and go into the farming area. I don't want it going around the whole farming area. So I'm going to use this little cut through road here and add a stop. Then we're going to come back down here and take in this block and come on, let me put it in at that block. Then it's going to come back down here again, opposite that one, and then it will connect up like that. So that will be our one loop. Then I'm going to set one going in the other direction. After I change the color, we'll have that one red like that. Okay, there we go. So we've got the Morgan loop clockwise and counterclockwise. I think that'll work quite well. And we've got a normal bus. What could we change that to to make it more interesting? I don't really want to go for the super big buses or bendy buses. So maybe we'll just leave that as it is for now. And then as time goes on, if we need to change it, that's fine. So have you noticed something different about the buses coming out of our depot? They're not all getting backed up, are they, against each other? Look, things are upgrading oh, all over the road. I'll sort that. There we go. Look, they're coming out with a bit of space in between. That is because, if we go into our options, I'm using the Transit Vehicle Spawn Delay mod. I've left it as whatever it's set up as standard, but it means 
just speed things up. The buses don't all come out all at the same time and cause lots and lots of issues and problems. So that is good. Some people are happy about the buses now. They're <laughs> oh yeah, they're still they also get stuck behind behind each other here, but never mind. But yeah, people are happy they're upgrading. We might find that houses start upgrading as well. But that is good news. Okay, cool. Nice to get a little city tour there following one of the buses. Let's check out how our farming zone is going then. Um, here we go. So resources, we're doing fine. Yeah, we need more workers. So we just need to basically build up our residential. And also we were making money. You know how it works with the industries DLC. There's always a big fluctuation of suddenly making money, suddenly losing money. So actually before I press record, that was at 2,500. So we'll see how that goes. Plenty of crops uh, being made and sold now. So we've got crops a go go in there. Crops a go go in there. How's this going? So they're shipping out as quick as they can, which is good, which means these are <laughs> making a lot of animal products, which is nice. I am thinking about upgrading some of these roads. So if we have a look at this one here. We'll leave it like that here and then it will spread out over there. And I'm also thinking this road along the back, it has suddenly got super busy with buses and things running down it. Um, these houses along here, I mean, they did buy a house facing the hills, but it's got like the highway going through here, which I think we're actually going to end up lowering down, you know. Uh, but we won't get to that today. That'll be for another day. But I think this road realistically needs to be upgraded. So they're happy they've got the buses uh, running down here. Um, but the price they're paying is an upgraded road. Actually, I wanted to add one in that was to you with trees, and we don't have that yet. We need 4,000 population. Okay. Looks like upgrading and adding more houses is the way to go. So we're going to take some of these houses here and fill in this area. Yeah, there we go. That fits in okay. We're missing a couple of fences here. So let's just sort this out. What have we got here? Modern fence number three. Um, let's just see if we can draw that in down the side there. Excellent. And then this one here. This one here is getting a super large garden, which I'm sure they'll be very pleased about. That's good. I want to leave this space here. We're going to add some other items in there. But we really need to expand. So now I'm thinking that we need to expand over here. And we're going to go for a different look. So we've had the eco houses all over this side. But I think over here will be much better. We can see that everybody's crying out because all of our people, I think, are going over here to work. Let's have a look. 63 out of 75. Uh, still got 6% unemployment. So, you know... We're getting there, we're getting there. But let's see what we can do with this side here. And I've removed the industry. So as we expand over here, noise pollution doesn't go much past that road there. And actual pollution, that will disappear over time. What is that building there? That's a firehouse. Yeah, so that's just ground pollution that will eventually go away. Because I've only just deleted those buildings. And what we could do is have some nice commercial buildings along there just to be a buffer so first of all i'm going to draw in a new district in here and then we'll see what this one's going to look like okay the zone is drawn out it's actually named something lafayette heights well that's an easy one to adjust to our naming convention lafayette heights there we go excellent so i sorted it out 
cool beans right now we'll go into our themes enable theme manager and the theme that we're going to go for is the american eclectic theme i like this one slightly different from what we've done before well, quite quite different um but also it's got these cool construction sort of buildings that will pop up on our earlier level so it's going to force us to level up the area which is going to be difficult because did i actually select that theme on now i think i did american eclectic there we go because over here if we have a look at our land value it's on the low side so we obviously need to do a little bit of work to get that going so maybe let's just do some of that work so first of all we're going to upgrade this road around here whoa game's thinking about that one i don't want to just upgrade this one what i want is a road that heads down the coast and then heads across here because this is going to be the start of our fishing industry uh, when we get to that so what i'm just thinking is hmm where would the road go across i mean the the shortest place it's going to go across is over here but i'm not sure we can afford that many squares let's grab that square yeah there we go so it's not going to be until the next milestone which is four thousand. no it's going to be the one after that six thousand before we get another square so wow we're gonna to have to really be careful with what we're doing so what I'm thinking is, if we can sort of squeeze this road just across here, as close as we can to the edge, there we go. Then that can curve around and go over there. And then we've got uh, maybe another sort of bridge that we're going to end up coming over the top here. Cannot build on water. Well, it wasn't water a minute ago. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, once again playing with water not a good idea let's just lift this up there we go hopefully that'll all just go underneath as it was going to before No, I think we'll leave it like that. I think that'll be fine. So then just along here, we're definitely going to take that traffic light out and make that a giveaway. Uh, we're going to do the same there. And then we've got no other connections. And then we can go over to the other side. Cool. And then along here, I feel like we need some sort of retaining wall. Yeah, let's go for a simple C wall. So I'm going to select that one. And then we're going to go up into our network multi-tool and go parallel mode. And we're going to go from there, past the junction, up to there which will be good. Uh, the network is back to front. So if you just look at the little box there, it's control I, I think that is to invert the network. Yeah, there we go, excellent. And then we can bring that a little bit closer with our minus key. I'm not quite sure how close I want that to go. Maybe to there. There we go, excellent. We'll have a little play with the land in a second. Oh, it's only inverted that segment there, but not this segment all the way along here. That's weird. So let's grab that upgrade it and then turn it around we're going to need anarchy on nope it's not going to let me do it oh pain in the neck there we go just drew it in by hand and that's fine so then we're going to just need to finagle the land a little bit just to push that back um, so let's make a brush size a little bit bigger brush strength like that and let's take maybe that height we just sort of work that back a little bit let's put the game on faster so the water reacts a bit quicker that should be okay up to the end there and then up to the end over here yeah that looks okay so you've got a bit of grass you can walk along there we could add some trees or something on there in a moment as well uh, let's cover up the end so that looks a little bit neater Yeah, there we go. I think that just finishes off the front there and over here as well on either side, oh, either side of that river, which is good. We might extend that round. We shall see. And then I'd like some trees along here. So let's just pick a nice looking tree. <laughs> is it going to be 
the young Linden. We need to ban ourselves for a whole episode from using the the young Linden because we. <laughs> I don't know. Do we overuse it? It's such a nice tree. I really like it. But I want something tall and thin. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look for street tree. We've got a lot of street trees, which I think look really good. That actually is perfect. There we go. That looks good. She can walk between those if you wish. Get out on the pier and look across on the quay, I should say, to the beautiful bay. Yeah, and all the stuff that's going to be going on over there. Excellent. We've got a little bit of a beach here as well, which is nice. Cool. Right. Okay. So we've added that in. Um, and we've got this now, this new road collection. Uh, connection, I should say. So let's get our American Eclectic houses going in here. I'm just wondering whether we need to make some of these blocks a little bit smaller. I think we will, but we're going to use some paths through here. And I also think that we're going to upgrade these roads. And we're going to do it now because obviously with the American Eclectic, let me show you. Level 1 and 2, we're going to get these sort of things, which are like construction sites. So we really need to try and help them get up to level 3. So upgrading these roads, I think, is a good way of doing that to start off with. Oh my goodness! We're losing our money! Money has become so tight. Oh, good grief. I'm spending all this money. We just need to get more people in, don't we? Okay, we're going to get the people in. And then we're going to worry about that afterwards. So what I'm going to do is... I'm pretty sure that there's going to be no commercial properties. Actually, I'm going to do that in this pack. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to remove zoning from this road here. It's already been removed. Okay, what is that there? Is that like a power... It is. Could we just adjust that ever so slightly? And we're going to take that across there instead. Excellent. That's fine. And then I'm going to move this because that's going to have noise around it. And we're going to pop that. Not enough money. <laughs> we're not going to pop that anywhere because we are broke. Okay. We're going to pop all of these in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the little zone that we've got here. While it's paused, we're going to add a new zone in just for these shops along the front, Mill District. And then for the theme in here, I'm pretty sure I've got a plain US industry. Let's see what's included. That's just got industry. High res has only got high res. And office has got commercial. Yes, that's the one I want. So we'll go for that one. Very good in the mill district. And I'm going to delete that one because it started to grow in before that theme was picked. Very good, very good. And then the rest of this is all going to be our eclectic theme. And we're going to see what we get in here. Okay, that's how we're going to zone it. I do want to save this little spot in the middle here for some parks. Um, I'm going to put offices along the back, maybe down the side, as and when we need them. But I just think at the moment we need to get them growing in and earning some of their lovely tax dollars to keep the city afloat. Oh, our farmland has upgraded. Excellent. We can start making some more money. This is what I've been waiting for. So now we've got the flour mill, the bakery, barracks, cattle shed, and small barn. So while these guys are all complaining about a lack of water, whoops, let me add some water pipes in for these. And then we're going to head over to our farm and upgrade some stuff over there, which is really, really going to help us out. Am I going to just spend all my money putting the water pipes in? I am, aren't I? Okay, we will need 15,000 simoleons, dollars, whatever you want to call them. Uh, to be able to buy the flour mill, but I'm pretty sure we could afford a little park or two. So we've got the small playground and we've got the small park. Um, what's that? 1,000. If I pop a couple of those in, that's fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away some of the zoning that's around here. So when we get the time, we can come back and do some more detailing there. Sorry for the houses that were probably just appearing there. By the look of it, there we go. I do want to put paths and things through the middle, but as it stands with the lack of money that we've got, we are not going to do that right now. What is the land value like? Heading more towards the blue as opposed to that light, <laughs> light blue, not very nice. And the money's going up. Excellent. And people are shopping. Yay, look. There we go. I'll tell you what we could do then. We could, we could add some shops, add some trees. 
do all that sort of thing. Let's extend that little zone that we had along here around the bottom section here. This is going to be shops as well, I think. There we go. Excellent. So this should now keep on growing. Oh, man, look at that. Lots of trailer parks and things popping up through here. Is this one upgrading? Upgrading to two trailer parks. Uh, two trailers. Trailer parks? What am I talking about? Two trailers. Excellent. I sort of think of these as the... Uh, what the builder uses. They've got all the port loose. They're going to start building the house around here. But interesting to see which is going to be the first house that pops in. Why are you building over the top of the park? That is very strange. Please don't do that. Thank you. Right, so while that is growing, let us get in here and put down our flour mill. So we've also got the cattle shed, but that does basically the same thing as this crops into animal products. Um, this one does 2496 a week. This one does 3200, so it does more, but it's really the flour mill that I'm interested in. Um, where shall we place that? That doesn't need to go on fertile land. So uh, possibly around here somewhere. If we just sort of budge this over a little bit, I'm going to use the move it mod just to slide these right up to there. Sorry, cows, you can you can now run over if you wish. Oh, then can we fit this in? Yeah, I think that fits in okay on the corner there. And then, of course, we need a warehouse for the flour that's going to be coming out of here. Can I afford that? Uh, we can afford a very small warehouse. That's not going to fit in there. Let's pop that alongside here. Yep, that's fine. We'll put that to empty. And then we'll put flour in there. So what we could do now, I'm just thinking. So that one has animal products. So that's just going to get sold out. That's fine. There we go. Look, we're making so many crops. So bringing them over here already, which is just what we want to see. Let's get you hooked up. Excellent. And then as soon as that starts kicking out the flower, we are going to be making even more moolah, which is what we need. Here we go, it's working. Things are being dropped off. People are coming to work here. So it shouldn't be too long before we start sending out the flour. There we go, it's building up. Excellent, and start making a little bit more money. Oh, we've got some other of these industries popping up over here. So they're going to need water, aren't they? Let's, uh, let's do that. Let's continue this road around here. Excellent. Electricity is going to become a bit of an issue. So I'm just going to drop a little teeny tiny rural power line um are these ones popping up yet no not yet okay that's fine hopefully traffic's still all going okay 84 percent and there we go look we're starting to get some of these little farming things pop up oh i don't like these like little random signposts in the middle of nowhere i'd actually like some proper farming <laughs> farming things if you don't mind yeah we'll see what happens with that um, but what i do like now this is something i spotted on a few candies YouTube channel, go and check out Few Candy. Is let's go into here, let's add that. Let's change this to sub buildings. This is the find it mod. Sub buildings, these are like all the little tiny bits of building that are in. Oh, I was wondering if there's be one I can show you. Let's put in farm. Yeah, here we go. So the actual prop here, we could probably see it, medium crop field. We haven't unlocked it yet, but if you look at that picture, built into it is this little thing here, which is the sub building. So uh, crop field corn 02 sub 1, that is medium crop field, yeah. So we can actually just take these out now and place them. And they won't do anything other than just look nice, um, but I think just looking nice is a good thing. <laughs> even if i do say so myself flicks my hair theatrically <laughs> so these little sub buildings you've got like another one there another little another little barn thing we're going to pop that alongside that one i think things like that just look great and then we get like these little these little things as well and i think you have to place them by the side of the road but then you can move them they don't need road access oh and they just look absolutely fantastic and then we can sort of run some paths through here like this make it look like that's part of the road let's move that out a bit let's move that out a bit as well there we go and do some little detailing around that Oh, 
there we go just little things like that really make the difference don't they so yeah thanks for you candy for uh, spotting that and sharing it with everybody that's good right let's just take a look at our money our money is going up we're making more money which is great yeah we're sending out flour which is starting to make us excellent amounts of money we shouldn't be running out of crops we've got so many crops so they are being exported look all the trucks are in use sending the crops out which means that they're probably not getting over here quick enough um i'm just wondering whether oh now you're spreading over here look we need some power busy town nice up to our next level Ooh, all sorts of things popping in here that we can use trees on the road that is what we want asymmetrical roads we've got big roads small roads all the roads in between and then we got oh man so much other stuff that we can build with oh i don't know about you it sort of almost seems a little bit overwhelming sometimes the amount of stuff that just suddenly sort of kicks in and becomes available to you uh, and you can't use it all at once right let's uh, deal with the problems that we've got here so our landfill is filled up uh, do we have access now to recycling we do let's pop together a little recycling center i think we're going to repurpose this spot over here There we go. It's probably spent a ton of money, but how are we looking there? Your garbage processing is going really well. Can we change the... Oh, it's only in this one we can change the truck. I thought we could change it in there. Nope, that's fine. So hopefully they'll head out there. How are we doing over here? It is a sea of porta potties and trailers as far as the eye can see. Do we have any houses yet? Oh, I can see somebody... Oh! <gasps> oh look at that groundwork's in walls are going up stud works going in looking good any houses actually appeared yet i don't think so no not yet but now we have the money let's just come out of that view we can add in some services over here because they're really going to need some so let's just take a look if we go into it this way so that school over there yeah it's getting to the point of almost being full up so let's just add in I want to go for one of these little community schools. Where would be a good spot for that? I think what we're going to do is take this bit along the back of the park like that. Sorry, people being unhappy. Uh, oh, look. Turn that off. And we're going to squeeze it in there, which means someone's going to be unhappy and possibly move out. But everybody else is going to be really happy. So that's what I'm uh, more interested in. So the farm is now making a decent amount of money. What the heck is being stored in here? Pandas? I don't know. Anyway, the farm's making a decent amount of money. Things are growing well, which is great. We've got a lot of work to do over here. Detailing work, work to level it up. We will get to that. But we have got to name our city. This name was suggested during the premiere of episode number one. For those that don't know, uh, during a premiere, as the video's played, we can all have a live chat together, which is great. I do enjoy that. And Jeremy Sims came up with a suggestion of Biffalo County, which I just thought was an excellent name. So no longer is it the generic Lakedale. It's now Biffalo County, which is great because with that name, uh, as we spread out into different parts of the map, so we're going to build around here. We're going to come across over there. The different islands. We can have the islands with different names, different little mini cities, all that sort of thing, which is great. So thank you very much for that name suggestion. And then we also had the suggestion from Jenny Mundy. Can we theme our names for things around the creators' names? If you remember, there's six creators that made this map. It would be fun to have snake puns, egg puns, that sort of thing. And I thought that was a fantastic idea. So if you remember, the map was made by Alley Cat, Eggsy, Ingenium, Quirky Geek Girl, Random Five, and Snakeus. Now, the area that we're in here, this was the starting area that Snakeus, uh, I believe, put together this spot. So, yeah, any little names you can think of, maybe tea-related, but definitely snake-related, uh, we can try and get those for our districts and things like that. So let me know in the comments below. Oh, the traffic is picking up for our farming stuff. Well, we'll have a look at that in the next one. So thank you very much for supporting this video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like and check out the next video on the screen. And we will all see you very soon. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.